so this may be a good time to be getting in you know uh, <clears throat> anand we request you to stay on because we have the management of city union bank now joining us uh, the first corporate on the show uh, now uh, mr n kamukodi is managing director and ceo of city union bank what has happened is that uh, there is a, a city union bank filed an exchange uh, notice they said that there is about 259 crores of uh, gross npa divergence this is pertaining to f522 which was found uh, as per the rbi inspection there's 259 odd crores this is about 20% of the reported slippage number mr kamukodi good to have you with us here thank you very much the question uh, which we want to know is out of this 259 odd crores how much has already been uh, kind of uh, uh, recognized uh, addressed and how much is remaining and how much is likely to slip in your opinion see as you uh, uh, rightly said uh, the uh, npa numbers uh, uh, gross npa numbers which were uh, declared by us uh, on 31st march 2022 was uh, 1933 crore and assessed by rbi was uh, 2192 crore making a divergence of uh, 259 crore out of that about uh, like say uh, 25 percentage already like say for example about uh, 64 crore uh, have been either already uh, like they recognized or uh, like say accounts have been uh, closed uh, we have another uh, about uh, uh, 20 to 25 percentage which we feel the uh, like basically the uh, npa marking had been for some technical reasons where the businesses have been uh, Uh, performing and we uh, as per our judgment they have uh, uh, like a for more for a technical reason they will be able to perform and get upgraded over a period of time leaving about uh, uh, like a uh, um, uh, 50 to 60 percentage of them like a, where we have to go for the uh, recovery thing mm -hmm. basically uh, the you might have also seen in the filing uh, like a, the regulatory tolerance mr kamgodi uh, for disclosure mr kamgodi uh, mr kamgodi uh, sorry 92 crore yeah. mr kamgodi sir Yeah, just one, yeah, just one minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Yeah. The uh, the uh, tolerance regulatory tolerance limit for disclosure was 190 odd crore, and it, uh, our uh, thing exceeded by about 70 crore. For which the incremental provisioning needed is about 40 crore. We saw we see the last year profit of about 70 crore. We hope uh, the, we have sufficient uh, P&L strength to uh, uh, absorb that and provide and move on. Okay. No. Uh, so you said uh, about 64, 65 crores out of 260 crores. has a, has been addressed another yeah. amount of this equal value is likely to be uh, sort of uh, addressed right i mean you yes. uh, right so that's a, that's a total of 130 crores and the rest yeah. of the 130 crores you'll have to provide yes. you'll have to provide for yeah we have to go for the recovery procedure yeah no so yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah and the basically you, you might have seen mm. Our, uh, uh, so, so, like so your, assess from, your assessment of the slippage number is about 130, 135 crores, right? See, basically, that is where we have to go for recovery thing, and our capacity, uh, as per uh, depending upon the collateral available and all, for every 100 crore slippage, we recover about 20 to 80 crore. Mm -hmm. uh, balance, we may have to take the credit line. Okay, so 25% of the divergence at 64 crores recognized. Another 65 crores likely to be recognized going forward, and you'll have to go for a recovery procedure of 130 crores. Got sorry, that? No, no, no. Uh, no. Yes, it's, uh, it's other way. It's other way. Okay. Uh, uh, like the 65 crore had been already uh, done, and another 65 crore over a period of time they will be getting upgraded. Okay. And the balance uh, uh, 100, 120 crore we have to recover. And you said okay. uh, towards the end, you said about uh, uh, based on your past recovery efforts, uh, credit loss, final credit loss could be 25 to 30 crores. So 25 to 30 percentage or 25 to 30 figure, roughly they match. Yes. Okay. Oh. Can you tell us what led to this divergence? And generally, 15 percent divergence doesn't require a disclosure. So, what led yes. to both the divergence and the disclosure this time? See, as as you said, the uh, our uh, uh, divergence uh, uh, overstepped the tolerance limit by about 70 crore. Basically, the uh, now after the automation of uh, uh, NPA and all, now the, the 90-day norms uh, like wherever the this delay is because of the repayment uh, beyond 90 days is automatically captured by the uh, like the system. And these 250 crore are uh, basically by like say something uh, beyond that on technical grounds, be it names of like say how the repayment had come, how whether the restructuring uh, whatever we had done, the assumptions have been right and all. basically you get the more uh, information at this point of time normally like uh, how the process works is uh, the system determines the npa then you have an internal audit process then you have uh, statutory branch audits and then you have statutory central audits and you will uh, have some gray area where uh, like the, the 
uh, uh, whether they are following this side of the line or that side of the line. And we had a similar uh, issue about six years back in 2000, uh, like the 16, when we had a similar uh, uh, divergence of about uh, uh, 82 crore had to be made. And uh, for six years, uh, there was no uh, divergence or the entire divergence had been well within the tolerance norm. So the, uh, basically, the, uh, uh, the issues uh, which resulted in the divergence, most of them are like the, uh, uh, like the, uh, the technical reasons which could not be captured during the uh, regular uh, processes and all. And we have to strengthen the process further to ensure that such a type of things don't uh, repeat in the future. So you said the provision is going to be 40 crore, which is a yes. significant portion because I think you indicated your last year's annual profits were 70 crores. 700 crore. Oh, 700 last crore. Year, like yeah, last year, profit was 760 crore. But what could and be the actual provisions? Because you have managed to upgrade, uh, you know, already one-fourth of it. Another one-fourth will get upgraded in due course. What could be the actual net the, impact the, on your provisions? The, yeah, the exact number we will be in a position to declare along with our third quarter result, mm -hmm. ascertain the, ascertaining the latest stages of the individual account. And uh, uh, the outer limit is what we have uh, uh, spoken in terms of the total quantum and all. We have been, uh, uh, al already we have started seeing significant recoveries from the old NPAs. So the gap between the upgradation and uh, uh, the slippages is what we have to consider on an ongoing basis. And the uh, numbers, whatever that has come is, uh, uh, though it is unfortunate that it should not have come, uh, it is, uh, uh, we hope uh, it is well within our uh, uh, capacity to absorb that stock because of the uh, sufficient strength in the p and and balance. Because of this uh, issue, you do you think you may have to lower your guidance on other parameters? Uh, you know, you had earlier guided for a loan growth of about 15 to 18 percent for FY23. Uh, would you stick to that guidance or would you be under? Uh, we don't see any reason to uh, like say downgrade that and all as you uh, uh, based on for this particular uh, uh, information. So we still feel that uh, year end we should be able to uh, close with the 15 to 18 percentage. And all along, after uh, like say, uh, December 2019, when we started feeling the, uh, uh, like say, the market is getting tighter, when we said that we are taking our legs off the growth pedal, subsequently we have focused on the, uh, like say, uh, uh, low risk or virtually zero risk to gold loans to go for the growth, uh, which uh, uh, basically like the, the uh, having a, a very, very, very uh, low risk in the uh, portfolio so that the asset growth can happen without increasing the risk proportionally. So we don't uh, uh, feel uh, uh, like say any uh, downgrade or uh, reduction in the growth potential is needed. Uh, although, and uh, we feel we have, uh, we will be able to carry on uh, uh, those business parameters on that. Nevertheless, there are uh, certain uh, uh, things, particularly on the internal controls and uh, uh, policies and the practices which we have to do, as pointed out by the inspection and all. We will. Uh, 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 do it, uh, uh, we take it very seriously and we will do that so that uh, such type of thing don't uh, repeat in the thing. As I told you, we had a similar, uh, like the unfortunate incident about uh, six years back and it is happening after six years. Okay, we leave it at that. Mr. Kamakodi, thanks a lot for joining in and good to know that uh, this is not, uh, you know, something that perhaps could affect your deposits, could affect your loan growth. Uh, and thank you for sharing uh, the numbers with us as well. Anand Tandon is also sitting by, so let's get a quick comment from him. Anand, any thoughts? Uh, City Union Bank is a stock that is a part of, you know, large portfolios, uh, mutual funds, etc. Uh, the stock has been under pressure. What do you do now? Well, first of all, you know, it's trading.